Hello everyone. In this video, I like to share this story. This is the one project recently I did, and in this project, I used Twinkai three and forty twenty four the software program this mathematical calculation, and I got one case when my data ten thousand point one minus ten thousand, I found that result now equal to zero point one, and the key reason that caused from the floating point precision. This is really hard to diagnose because mathematically the equation hundred percent this is correct. However, because of the computer flow point precision, especially we are dealing with two data when they do the minus or do the division, their difference higher than ten power five. Like this case, when I use the TwinCat software program, this two equation. The first one, the result is the correct. The second result, zero point zero nine nine six, that is not super correct. For example, in this case, when I use one data, there's a ten million and one hundred. This data do this equation from mathematical will. These two equation they are the same. Mathematically, if I over this ten thousand, this area that's equal to ten thousand, and the x area, this area will over one thousand, right? Mathematically, they are the same. However, when the x value, this is a very huge value, this is a ten million some value, then the result what they got, they are not the same. In this case here, this is the correct value. This is a zero point one. However, from the second equation, this one, the result, this is a zero point zero nine nine six. This is a long decimal data here, and the result, they are not the same. I used two hours troubleshoot this result because I didn't realize this x this value would be a very huge value in some cases, and because of the float point precision calculation, so the result got a difference. The theory behind this comes from the computer float point precision, and frankly speaking, in the practice wheel and when you program these things, the error caused by this issue is really hard to find out. Because it's a mathematical equation, they have no problem. But when the source data turn to a very high value or very very small value, then this result will show the error. And basically, if you are go offline, you will not able to troubleshoot this case. So how to prevent this? Maybe the better solution we could use the long rail. If you think some cases some value. When A and B need to do some calculation, especially when the A and the B they are quite different, one very very huge, one very very small. When we declare the variables, we better use the long rail. In this case, I was using the rail, so you will see the result. They are now the same. Okay, let me shift to the twin cat. Let me demonstrate this issue, and then eventually I will use the long rail calculate the same equation. Then you will see the result shows the difference. Very interesting. Okay, let's go to the twin cat. Here we will see. So I have the source data x. The x that's the real, and the result y. This is also the real. And the same thing. Mathematical will. These two equations they are the same. If I'm using this portion over one thousand, that equal to ten thousand, right? And the x area will over one thousand. So mathematically they are the same. However. Now let me log in the program. Okay, so when the x value equal to ten million and one hundred, this value, okay, and uh, when I click the right value, then we will see the result. The first equation that equal to zero point one. The zero point one, this is the value is supposed to be, but the second equation when it's doing this way, so we will see. The result they actually go to this one. If I double click, you will see this value equal to this. This is not correct mathematically. The result from this area that should be the ten thousand point one. Then minus ten thousand. So the result should equal to zero point one. However, the result equal to zero point zero nine nine six zero nine. Three seven five here, okay. That caused by the floating point precision behind. And frankly speaking, this was really hard to troubleshoot and find out. Okay, to prevent this, 
Personally, I figure out we better use the long rail. So in this system from this GVL, I declared Y1 and Y2, they are real. This is the current existing two equations result. And now I will use the long rail Y1 and the long rail Y2 to receive a new equation, okay? So again, if we recall here, this second equation, the result, they are not correct. So I will convert this real to long real at first, and then I will still use the same equation to the calculation. Okay, so this time I will use this long real equation and the GVL dot long real Y2. And this time I will first use real to long real. And I will use this same variable. Okay, the same variable. And then over 1000 and the minus this area, they are the same, okay? Okay, they are the same, okay? The only difference is this. I convert a rail to long rail at first and then do the same calculation. And now let's log in and let's see the result. This time after we log in, we will see the third equation. This time after we use the long rail, that result equal to 0 0.1. When we double click this 0 0.1, we will see it's a long far away from this decimal. It slightly has an error. However, this error almost can be ignored. After we used the long rail, this result calculate to the right. We are using the same equation. The only difference is we convert the source data to long rail. This variable also the long rail. So after we convert a rail to long rail, when this value is super huge, okay, this is a super huge value. Okay, uh, if I double click this GVL, we will see this X value, this is the 10 million, this huge value. So the second equation wasn't correct. But now the third equation, after we convert to long rail, that result almost to the correct, the 0 0.1 correct result. This is the issue I like to show in this video. Actually, this is a similar idea, like some cases you have to compare to rail Compare them if this two float or real or long real value, they are equal. Basically, if you use the equal command, they will never be the same because the long away, this decimal, never be the same. Alternatively, you can use the absolute of the two value and uh, minus them and uh, compare the difference between this absolute minus result. If this minus result is less than very, very small value, then we will say this two real or two long real value, they are the same, they are equal. This is a similar idea. So take care, this is the computer floating point precision issue, and it's really hard to predict, okay? My personal recommend, we better use the long real calculate. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.